Hello Mechanics, and welcome back to Crashlands. Now in the last episode, we're kind of doing this whole tutorial bit, and the tutorial goes on for quite a while, but as soon as it gets all the basics out of the way, it becomes very... basically, figure out what to do on your own. And that's up until the very final area, where it introduces some new mechanics. It'll introduce new mechanics every zone, like a new tool or some new form of crafting or something new about the plants and animals in the world. Here we go, new area. Now we have this saw blade kind of thing, and look at all the shit we can make with this. It's beautiful. Let's go back, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in, it's in your shoe! I might keep the voices up, I don't know, I'm probably gonna record up to episode 3 before I actually start getting any feedback on this. Wooden chest plate, protect that one kidney. And I see we got the wood, the log chest. And actually, we have a couple of items we can build here. We have all the little sawgrass leaflets, I think. Let's actually see what these are. Sawgrass leaf, the soft, tender leaf from the sawgrass plant. It feels good to rub your face on it, though it causes rashes. Great. Now, this. <laughs> Sawdust, a byproduct from cutting wood. If you stick your hands in the pile, it feels awesome. And it smells great. Don't snort sawdust, kids. Don't snort sawdust. At all. Wampet parts. Wampets are those weird pogo stick bull things we discussed in the last episode. See, we got log boots. We got wood mitts. I'm king of the wood. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to follow along with the story here for a little bit and craft basic, you know, log armor. Bacon weed is a healing item gonna help us out in the future and here we go now you see the longer we get into this game the further we get into this game the farther we're gonna be going and a lot more uh, cutting into the game I'll be doing so I'm gonna do a quick like uh, some cuts here to whenever I find some tree never mind I guess I'm gonna get cut after I find this oh never mind two more logs you see as soon as you say you're gonna start making jump cuts the game just starts flinging wood at your face I mean seriously don't take that out of context what is this? A bureau scroll. I can now craft my own BS. Now it's starting to get to nighttime. We got some sort of stone thing over there. Can't do anything with that yet. Oh, there we go. Now it looks like we have a uh, new quest. And you can see on our map, we have a light source in this area. So we want to go up here. Avoid these guys, because these guys are aggressive when you fuck with them or their sawgrass. They love themselves some sawgrass. Their face is all sorts of meant to chew up deadly wood piles. I think it's like wood. I mean, if it's hard enough to cut through your skin easily, it either means that this thing is very soft and not very well cut out for hurting people. Oh look, there's our flashlight. Oh, it looks like it's on a little island. I can't see. Build some floors and make a bridge. Now, you see, that's why I kept that one floor, and that's why I sucked up this one floor, because this is going to become a very common thing in this game. This thing is bright. What if I want to whip my saw and top down trees? Blah, blah, blah. So, basically, all the stuff in this game revolves around this suit, which is pretty much magic by any means. It is magic beyond normal means. This little guy, we're going to want to stay away from as well until we have the, uh... No, 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 no. You don't see me. You don't see me. Now we're just going to uh, magic our way back to the house. Magic! A magic mortis! Literally translates to eruption of death in Latin. <laughs> you can, you can, uh, you can check me on that. It's not gonna be wrong. Now we're gonna come in here. We can build the BS, which we need, uh, what are you? Whistleboard. These termite sound creatures attack to the sounds of whistle root plants. Its jaws are razor sharp, but it refuses to bite you. That's cool. What is this? Glytopus ink. This is very bad. Glytopus is very bad. So now we're going to build a log chest. You see, this orange is legendary. White is basic. I think green is second best. Yeah, there you see. Green. Vampire chance. Cool, I get to be a vampire, and hopefully not one of those glittery sons of bitches. By the power of wood, I am now protected. Well, uh, by the power of wood, a lot of things happen. Mostly humans. 
and a proper shank. Speaking of shanks, all right, so uh, sawgrass sword. Now you see we have the ability. We're running around. We got this really bright kind of. Basically, it's just you can't see much at night. You can still run around at night. Like it doesn't matter one way or another if you actually have anything to uh, protect you at night. I mean, I get tired of the torch pretty quickly. And it doesn't affect your gameplay one way or another, except maybe attracting these guys to you. I can't do anything to you. I made a mistake. You see how they attack? They basically, like, try to jump on you. Watch. Look at that. He gets all pissy, and then he's like, I'm gonna jump on you. Her. And that's how that goes. These enemies are very easy to dodge. They're just a pain in the ass if they actually manage to hit you, or if they're in, you know, groups of, like, 40 or so, like they are there. Gather some more wood. I'm probably just gonna skip this bit anyway. Let's just skip back to when I've made the sword. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of ho 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 octopus. I don't think it'll attack me. And the logs are done. Now just to get uh sawgrass blades. And done. Now that that's done, we should be able to just, you know, where are we? Oh, you know, we're not that far away from our home, but we can just whip right back on the home. Now that we're here, we have the unique power to make a sawgrass sword. Level one weapon, a sword made of grass. This will end well for you. I love the bitter, sarcastic humor in this. It's just, it's amazing. Sweet! Acceptable sawgrass sword of colditude. So it, like, freezes? Yeah, freeze, it makes them bleed, and it shocks them. Wow. That's an impressive sword. Taste my blade! What does it taste like? Celery. <laughs> oh, those beasts look like they have a good hides on them. Take some of their leathery skin bits and build us a skinnery. Just kill some of the wampets. Now, the wampets... This is going to be funny. This is where this game starts to get interesting. Because now we start killing them. And once we start killing them, they start attacking. Oh, man. Oh, fucking hell. They hit like a truck. Oh, man. They hit like a truck made of sulfuric acid. All right. Have at thee. Ah, they're attacking in groups. I can get in two attacks every time they attack me. Great. Oh, God. See, this is what I mean by attacking in hordes. Oh, oh God. Why? Maybe I should put in some epic battle music under my, uh, talking. There we go. I am victorious. Stomp happy creatures that love sawgrass. Well, I've seen it. Now, you see, this game also keeps track of, like, monsters and stuff like this. Watch. You go to your data tab. Wampets. Bouncy critters, you see they have three stages. All these creatures have resistances and what they're good, what, the, what makes it easy to kill them. Now if you see here, they're not tough, but they're good against poison, they're good against being burnt, and they're good against being electrocuted. Well, my frost will do damage to them and bleed does damage regardless. Different weapons have different stats as you've seen, and different stats can be used in different manners against different creatures. Looks like I can cut them three times. Unless I get my timing wrong. Boom! Still have my space wrench. And this is, introduces another mechanic, which is like actions. Basically, yeah, 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 I don't care. Just let me do this. Now, you see, if I press D, it brings out my wrench, and I could use it to stun them. You see, I'm inflicting statuses and shit on these guys. This is like... It's a little bit of a, uh... 
Diablo kind of feel. Now I can just... Oh, Space Wrench! Oh, Jesus. Son of a fuck. I wish there was like an area of effect weapon I could use on these guys. Oh, I cut them apart. Got four whole cuts on them. Die, 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 die! Oh, jeez, he almost got me. Man, this game is a lot more intense when everything can one-shot kill you. I don't know if I actually put any words there for that. I hope I did. Quote me on that, because it's true. Alright, and you see, we still have so many things to get. We still have to get a lot of these. A lot of fucking womp hit bits. And I think that's all the time I have for this episode. No, no it's not. I actually have plenty of time. Not to mention my editing's gonna cut this down to a 10 minute video anyway. I might actually do some farming up off camera and get everything underway to start finishing quests. I think I'll do that. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna take this game. I'm gonna make sure if I need to like farm things or if there's something important I need to show you, I'll record those and record the story. But like as for just running around, I'm not gonna do that. All right then. It's decided. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.